it was 72, and houses weren't worth much back then. We bought the house for 21000 and uh, the banker then said, that's the biggest mortgage I've ever arranged. So that, that changes some perspectives. It's, um, but shortly after that, uh, I ended up at the local history room to just find out more, because some were telling me this was the Pendergrass house, and, uh, and it's been... Um, perpetual sense, always looking for something new. So of the Pendergrass family, we have Neville here. I believe everybody should have a marker somewhere uh, that identifies that they lived and were here. And, um, and that's why I would really like to see more done on this, at this cemetery. Almost all other cemeteries, the, 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 the graves are all marked uh, and identified. But this one here, there's a whole bunch of history that hasn't really been honored. Uh, it, it should be done. It was a, a plan apparently that that uh, my grandfather purchased from Winnipeg and it has, it, had a, it has a widow's walk still which is a very British sort of a thing looking out onto the ocean with the sailors and so forth. And apparently he slipped and hit his head and fell in the water and that was it. Yeah. And uh, because he probably got knocked out that's why he drowned otherwise if you just fell yes. in the water you yes. could probably you know yes. catch on to something. I mean <laughs> this is a, a small story but it's a Saskatoon story that yes. uh, I think is of some interest to the public.